first. I want to visit Ishgard with you. Properly. We scarcely had time to look around last time. I should like it very much if you could show me the sights. Next, you must regale me with your greatest adventures in the places where you lived them, if possible. I may have read about all your deeds, but there is no substitute for a first-hand account. And last but not least, a new adventure together, unlike any we've experienced before. Yes. We'll travel the lands, cross the seas, and take to the skies upon the eternal wind, and it will be marvelous. Oh. It will. Yes, it will. I love him so much. He's so poetic in a different way. Oh, we gave him a fist bump. Fucking A. Let's start Final Fantasy. So I, do, I do like the YouTube viewing experience much better. Really? Yeah. It is, you can like buffer back and forth. It's nice. Hmm. You can't do that on Twitch. Um. So. But the Twitch chat is much more robust. I like the Twitch. So I, I do, if they're streaming on both, I keep them both open. Pretty sure it's in the TOS that you can't say that you like YouTube better. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. It's head. Okay. Oh. Fantastic. You're already I in it. like this guy. <laughs> for nomenclature to address my individual person, I believe it would be pronounced Kafkunj. <laughs> Did I get that right? <laughs> Kafkunj. That's not... <laughs> mm -hmm. well, you can go back there now. I already did that. He just said... <laughs> Sorry, what was that? That's exactly what he said. Just saying, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. The strange moaning comes and goes, but soon fades into silence. <laughs> May I introduce to you La La De Dick Ned. Aye, this place shall serve. Is it the spring that you wish to investigate? No. Pray forgive me, my friends, but there is not to investigate. Twas but a pretense to speak in private. Uh-oh. You have our undivided attention. As we have established, here in Ultima Thule, those denizens of ruined stars are recreated in their twilight days. Yet one question doth arise in my mind. So faithfully formed are the simulacra, they believe themselves yet amongst the living. How dost thou suppose this is possible? It's through the wants of the people that are, are, have arrived there. She did talk about these planets when when the, the signal first started coming in, she was talking about these planets mm -hmm. and th these are the ones that she's described. Mm. And, and uh, how they ended, even though they found all the knowledge, transcended death, war and all that. So we're gonna go through all the planets. I'm assuming that she did speak about. All right. Why do you tell us this now? Never again would I betray your trust. This pledge I did make to my comrades. In bringing thee into my confidence, I would remain true to my mm. word. Oh my gosh. I love Urianje. As for thee, let us consider it my fitting reward for the secrets I harbored for the Crystal Exarch. Hmm. <laughs> 
I once placed my faith in thy chosen path, walking at thy side, full knowing that we were bound for thy demise. I ask now that thou returnest the favor and abide in faith as I fulfill mine own destiny. If you say my debt has come due, how am I to refuse? Tis indelicate of me, I know full well, and I can but beg thy forgiveness. Yet even if I must needs go to such lengths, I cannot well feign ignorance of the answer I have found within. The answer to the question, in what moment might I stand strongest? Piano time. After all that we've been through, I will say only this. Do what you must, do what you must, and see your conviction through. I shall, my friend. I shall. Without further ado, then, let us go join our comrades. Please continue. Tell us about this truth you discovered. Very well. Bear in mind, however, that the purpose of this conversation is not to impart scholarly knowledge, for such requires that you comprehend the subject matter, which you will not. I voiced them completely wrong. <laughs> we will forego the intricacies of our scientific methodology and deal only with the conclusion, the end of our society, and our world. We acknowledge, with regret, that your star is in the midst of the same panic-induced cataclysm that befell Denet III. As such, in order to avoid causing undue distress, we will refrain from explicitly stating how much time you have remaining. You are entirely too kind. I pray you recount your tale as you see fit. In the beginning, the universe was but a tiny particle. Then suddenly, this particle began to expand, having remained entirely in the bounds of your star. The phenomenon may be difficult for your kind to grasp, but this expansion has since continued unabated. Speculating that the universe could not grow indefinitely, we sought to learn what might occur and made a worrying discovery. The stars will continue to spread apart, as will their finite thermal energies. And it's gonna just get really cold. Eventually, all heavenly bodies will grow cold and freeze. No new stars will be born, and the universe will enter onto an eternal ice age. All right. In hopes of proving that this determination was erroneous, we scrutinized our research from all angles even as we sought to avert the everlasting winter. Did they take into account dark energy and dark matter? The endeavor proved fruitless. So infamously so, in fact, that it became synonymous with vain effort. The universe as we know it would end, and there is no way to prevent it. Beneath the weight of this knowledge, our society stagnated. Though we had time still, it was a cold comfort. <laughs> Why strive for anything when desolation is assured? When our wealth of wisdom 
accumulated since the dawning of our kind, would be forever lost. No civilization would rise from our ashes. No scholar recover our knowledge. In silence unbroken, naught would stir. Intellect was once our pride. Overnight, it became our shame. Our works, monuments to futility. Immortality, our greatest invention, became a source of suffering. Rather than suffer on, many chose to unmake themselves by means of etheric exsanguinators. Okay. Exsanguinators. Etched upon these stones are the testaments of such souls. Though many left no words at all, thinking it a pointless gesture. Once we have obtained vessels of flesh, we likewise intend to vanish. If you understand this, understand aught of our tale, you will abandon your quest for knowledge. Mm. Ignorance truly is bliss. If you would cling to your illusory happiness, remain primitive and pure. It is the only way. So that's your story. While I appreciate your advice, I will not heed it. Convinced though you may be of this truth, it is yours and not mine. Indeed truth, I have ever believed, is in the eye of the beholder. Are you suggesting that we have reached a faulty conclusion? That our science failed us? Hardly. As you yourself said, the subject matter is beyond my comprehension. And that, I accept, is true. I do not possess the knowledge to prove or disprove your conclusion. In my mortal years, I doubt I could even approach the wisdom of the air. Air. <laughs> but of one thing am I absolutely certain. I would not be happier in ignorance. You stole a no! You mustn't! Mm. The most important lesson I've learned is that learning isn't simply passing one's eyes over words. Nay, <laughs> it is when understood for oneself that knowledge attains its true value. This is what has sustained me. Driven me onward in joy and wonder, in anger and sorrow. The universe may end, and all may be for naught, but I will live as I always have. I will always seek out new knowledge, and no conclusion of yours, no matter how grim, can dampen my desire. it is only to be expected. Their feeble minds cannot fathom the terrifying gravity of it all. Uh-oh. But worry not. We consider it our duty to enlighten you. And we will not stop until you grasp the full extent of our despair. Uh-oh. Like the Keep same bird that follows well. logic around, except blue. Oh, is it? Though my body will soon dissipate, there may be a way to restore it. Okay. Asim's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. 
Hey, that's the but plan that mustn't. I said. For it would mean losing our way forward. This I only reveal so that you can promise not to invoke the magic. We came here knowing what victory may cost, so press on. Press on, and do not look back. I shall join thee. As subterfuge is not required, thou shalt not suffer for mine absence. Riange. My resolve hath never been as strong as thine. Full oft have I wavered in my decisions, and afterwards been stricken with regret. In spite of this, I may still stand with my comrades, supporting them as they attempt the greatest of feats. This truth I have learned in the course of our journey. And many though my shortcomings may be, I may also claim to excel in prophecies. My studies, into which have granted me the flexibility of mind needed to bend this malleable reality. Thus shall I hope that thou mayest have the strength to resist and our comrades the strength to continue. With you to urge us on, how could we possibly fail? They just done sacrificed themselves. Damn it. Well, you were right both times. What's this? An extinguished civilization? Rekindled? That's right. Our quest doesn't end here. We'll press on, and we will find you. There. That's where you'll find me. Oh, so she was the big thing in the sky. Uh -oh. Is that another star? Did they not notice it? <laughs> of the stars we visited, most were already devoid of life. And where there was life still, the inhabitants wished for death. But even death, we learned, isn't truly the end. It is but a part of the cycle of rebirth. Souls return to the star, or in its absence, a larger flow. And eventually they are reborn. Alive again, to know suffering anew. True salvation lies not in dying. It lies in not being born. Mm. This is the gift I would give to you. To all life on beautiful Atheris. To that end, we created an egg wherein life cannot quicken. That dead sun. Huh? Attain it if you can, before your friend's emotions fade away, along with their protection. Base Omicron. Are these the things that created Omega? Because that'd be awesome. I was wondering who made Omega. 
It appears you are hearing organists unable to process the name in our tongue. It may be translated into yours as Alphatron. Alphatron. Our people, meanwhile, are called the Omicrons, and you stand within one of our outposts. The Omicron, you say? And what is it that you do here? We are preparing for war. Why do they sound like Daleks? Because <laughs> they're robots. Oh. Let's do it. Exterminate. Eggs. 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 Exterminate. Eggs. Eggs. Is that what Clara says? Yes. Yeah. That's what she says. <laughs> no it's sound. It's ready to set forth. Not, not found. L- lives not found dead <laughs> right. how about no bound no, is it you think that's a B but that's a fine I'm gonna need somebody to tell me <sighs> well I'm out of ideas As am I. Operating such consoles is trying enough. But if we can't even activate it? Perhaps there is a way. First, consider the world that has been recreated here. Its inhabitants were machines who gathered combat data to enhance themselves. And among the many wars they waged, the most notable was that against the dragons. As you've doubtless surmised, I believe this was the homeworld of Omega. Wow. He knew what I was thinking. Sid built a jamming device to defeat it, a device which generated massive bursts of lightning, its sole weakness. That's all well and good, but what does that... Wait. You're not thinking to strike the console with lightning, are you? Huh. As a matter of fact, I am. Ask yourselves this. Why would an entity as puissant as Omega not be designed to suppress the effects of lightning? Is that how you say it? Uh, it's puissant. <laughs> Obviously. It's not puissant. <laughs> it's puissant. Croissant. Obviously. Like croissant. Like croissant. Croissant. It's croissant. Puissant. Obviously. It's pissant. (laughs) Because it relies upon it, or something akin to it, as a source of energy. My thoughts exactly. And there is a good chance the same is true of the Omicrons and their devices. So, observation. Shall I cast caution to the wind and try something reckless and dramatic? Bet. Go for it. Sure. Yes. Have it. <laughs> or I could my use my made custom Omega made jammer. Omega Jammer. Have at it. <laughs> Very well. Oh no, you missed Here it. I, go. <laughs> I had a whole animation. It was like, ah. Very well here. You still have it. Sid and Nero's legendary device, which brought low the super weapon Omega. The device was much too big to lug around, so you must only have the control module. And there I was getting all excited. <laughs> Never mind. An old fashioned spell will suffice. <laughs> He's from a Japanese game voiced by an English man being a feline in space. He has lots of gilbert. Puissant. What did he, did he say it puissant? I have no idea what he said. It, it worked. It worked. Of course it worked. You, you just, you're just not going to believe the crystal exarch. You doubt him? Live for like a thousand years. Hey, it's Omega. Hey, I did a pretty good yeah, voicing of that. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> pretty spot on. Strategic Matrix Sigma 1, now online. As a primary strategic matrix, 
We found him. Oh, oh gotcha. Oh, okay. <laughs> Transmission. Okay, I mean, but where is he getting sir from? It's not like a like an action or anything. It's just. Hey man, we haven't talked to you yet. Wait, we have questions for you. <laughs> of late, no mission orders have been issued. Why not? Has there been some manner of trouble? Tell us why the Extended Operations Unit hasn't yet determined the guidelines. Unable to comply. Information unavailable or access restricted. That's not useful. In that case, is it possible for us to communicate directly with the unit? Access denied. Unable to establish connection. Is there anything you can tell us? Have there been any abnormalities, like a, a threat to the star or widespread unrest? Reply. Negative. All citizens continue to operate at maximum efficiency. Okay. If your operations are suboptimal, please proceed to a maintenance facility for evaluation. Otherwise, stand by at your designated post. End reply. End transmission. Okay, that was useful. I could activate it again, but I doubt it would be productive. What do you think? Most inefficient. If all the Omicrons really were running as efficiently as it claimed, then I doubt they were hoping for life here to end. As this sir told us, there just haven't been any new instructions and everyone is standing by. Should be standing by at any rate. If there are those that are neglecting their duties, perhaps we can glean a clue from them. I propose we take another look around and also try to find the operations unit. Maybe the guidelines found out that there's no one else to conquer. Is it really getting close to pop the bottle time? I'm so excited. <laughs> I didn't get any wine for this event. Now I feel utterly unprepared. Does that mean that it's it's Olive Garden night? Oh, my goo boo. What are those? Lambda. <laughs> lambda, lambda, lambda. I forgot what movie that was in. Funny movie, I think. <laughs> that was the name of the sorority. It was Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. It's a tree. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I guess it was. Was it really? Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Yes, queen. Yes. Except nobody no heard it. No one can it. hear it. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> <laughs> what is your query? Oh, yeah. An Omega Muse. <laughs> ah, you found it. Wait. Oh, you guys didn't hear it. You just heard us say it. <laughs> What are you doing here? I 
I am looking at the tree. What? <laughs> oh, what a silly question, Gra. What? Obviously, that's what I'm doing, Gra Hatia. Duh. Quite an unusual specimen. What is the device attached to it? The tree is a sample collected from another star, as it cannot survive in our environment. However, it requires life support. That is the function of the device. To go to such lengths to sustain it. Is there something special about this tree? Being foreign matter, protocol requires that we study it. As this task has been completed, the specimen may be discarded. Aww. Nice. Thank you for <laughs> joining us. Come hang out. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good timing. <laughs> Very good timing. We have really good um, live reactions, yeah. we've been told. <laughs> However, <laughs> we all. We, yes! yes, Queen! <laughs> I did it again! <laughs> Since there's no alert, we have to play the alert for you by we, saying By yeah. saying it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Queen! <laughs> that was a YouTube you, though. That one. That it? was a YouTube you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is hilarious. However, I when it. I behold the tree, I am made to feel as though there is a problem. Mm. In order to become strong, we have continued to enhance ourselves. Like we did countless others. We conquered the star whence this tree came. Okay. Mm. It is the last remnant of a dead world, and there is nothing towards which it may aspire. Yet it grows, extends its branches, sprouts leaves, produces seeds. Hey, thanks for the follow. Sup? <laughs> what was that face? I was trying to figure out which one it was. Where, where did it come from? I don't know. I'm just like, huh. There's sounds the sound. everywhere wow. the, that you guys can't hear. That you so. guys can't hear, but we hear them. They're very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Why does it seek to continue? Why was it made to behave in such a way? And to what end? I do not understand. We're going to have to cut out all this, like, all of our laughing and stuff because it's a very serious moment. It is. Nice. I see. I don't... <laughs> Where? Where is it? Where do you guys keep coming from? <laughs> awesome. I see. Out of curiosity, does this pertain to your duty? No, it does not. My apologies. I shall return to my designated post and assume a state of combat readiness. Well, no, don't do that. What made you come here? So it was acting outside of orders. It was having like it, existential it was, thoughts. Yeah. Perhaps it is simply a malfunctioning Omicron. These are by no means uncommon. Sure. But it may also be a unit possessed of the ability to make decisions. Right. One not unlike Sir. Okay. I feel like I swallowed one of the gnats. <laughs> I swear. It's, I feel like I did. TV. Just now. TV. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like it just flew into my mouth or Stop something. Stop that! Stop <laughs> it, TV! Oh my god! Sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the MSQ. I believe this bears further <laughs> in investigation. Maybe we must focus on Syria. Sorry. To endeavor to live, even if we must depend on forces beyond our control. Tell me, CV, one day when this adventure becomes a part of your epic, 
Do you think I will be mentioned in it? 100%. Of course. Obviously. Who would mention Gratio. our favorite cat boy? Our favorite cat boy. Puissant. Maybe in a footnote. <laughs> That's so rude. You're not here so you can be in the story. Oh, my God. No, of course. Why wouldn't you be? Obviously, that's what we said. <laughs> Favorite cat boy, we love you. You truly think so? That would be a... A what? Nay, I shouldn't say such things until moment comes to pass. Never mind the embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. I would have too. That was my choice if I if I wanted to choose a different one. Well, we had best get on with our task. Tracking down Sir and understanding the nature of the emotion which bars our way. Oh no. Farah's gonna sacrifice himself. We didn't get XP for that, we just got coinage. Oh, because technically it's point? level 90. As you have summarized, I am part of the shared intelligence of Stinger One. Wait, hold on, hold on. It is, was, my charge to determine the optimal path to achieving our prime function. This body had been abandoned by its former owner and lay unused. I took it and abandoned my own, and with it, my duty. May we ask why you did this? From what we gather, it seems to be a personal matter. Our kind did not always act as they do now. Long ago, we possessed frail and feeble bodies. Beleaguered by stronger races, our ancestors took to augmenting their flesh in order to defend themselves. What began with limited parts eventually spread to the whole body, and at last, a means was discovered to convert the mind into data, rendering even the brain obsolete. Like Daleks. Such complete mechanical beings were called the Omicrons. And by their might, we came to reign supreme over the star. Actually, not the Daleks, but like Cybermen. They're more like Cybermen. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But even then, we did not feel secure. For we knew that the universe was home to civilizations aside from our own. <clears throat> civilizations that may be stronger still than us. Rather than risk becoming the subjugated, we chose to become the subjugator. We began our conquest of the stars. That we might acquire the resources and knowledge we needed to reign supreme. Doggy's hungry. We were successful in that endeavor. So powerful did we become, we could lay low even the mighty dragons. But then something unexpected happened. I began experiencing an error. I could no longer determine an optimal path. You were malfunctioning. I performed numerous full system scans, each time finding no issues. Yet the error persisted. It was then that I speculated. What could happen if we grew so powerful as to have no equal? That's what I said, that they wouldn't have anyone to beat anymore. Mm. They wouldn't have a purpose.
to become stronger was essential to our existence. Our every action has been in service to this objective. But if nothing lies beyond this, can it be truly said that it was essential? Have we been engaging only in wanton destruction? You could find no threat to justify your purpose. The Omicrons will never leave this star. They will stand by until the reserves of energy are spent. For I have no path to offer them. None. Hmm. It is not our place to pass judgment on the deeds of the Omicrons. But surely, this does not have to spell the end of your people. With your power and knowledge, the possibilities are endless. Why not seek out a new purpose? <clears throat> that is impossible. In the beginning, we have a higher purpose than our pursuit of power. But we must side of it when we so irrevocably altered our fundamental forms. When we cast aside our flesh, so too did we cast aside all that defined us. Nothing remains of who we once were. I have no aspirations. No longer can I dream. The vital spark is lost. Lost amidst circuitry and code and commands. Is it attacking you now? Mm. Okay. Oh. I believe I know how to overcome this despair. The words are ready in my mind, but ere I speak them... I want you to make me a promise. Be it across time or space, our promises have always connected us. And so I ask that you indulge me once more, that this won't be the end. Of course not, Gra. You say it, do it again. Well, well I could have waited. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Is that so? In that case, I won't hold back. Do you want to go feed him real quick? I'll do it. Doggy is hungry. But and he's not letting us just. Just to let, just to, as a as a reminder, this scene was like the same scene during uh, Shadowbringers when they was talking. Yeah, I know, right? It's very. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stalling, I, I am stalling, but th this is this is the exact same scene, guys. I remember because I edited that video many times. <laughs> it's in our intro. <laughs> what are you doing? What you doing? Are you coming? Oh, okay. She too must feed herself. <laughs> That's all I ask. That's exactly it. All right, we are continuing. And he's back. I got the wrong. First, I want to visit Ishgard with you properly. We scarcely had time to look around last time. I should like it very much if you could show me the sights. 
Next, you must regale me with your greatest adventures in the places where you lived them, if possible. I may have read about all your deeds, but there is no substitute for a first-hand account. And last but not least, <laughs> a new adventure together. Unlike any we've experienced before. Yes. We'll travel the lands, cross the seas, and take to the skies upon the eternal wind. And it will be marvelous. Oh. It will. Yes, it will. I love him so much. He's so poetic in a different way. Oh, we gave him a fist bump. Fucking A. It's like one of the first few times we actually interact with another person. If you would humor me a moment. When we awaken each morning, how can we prove that we're the same individual who retired the night before? That's a good question. It's a really Through good the question. remembrance of past events, we might say. We have our memories, yet there are times when we forget or recall incorrectly. What of our bodies, then? It is the same one, we might say. Yet, technically speaking, as living beings, our bodies are constantly changing. It will never be as it was at an earlier point in time. Our souls are no more immutable. On our star, people are known to inherit the souls of others, yet they are decidedly different beings. That's right. For my part, I've subjected my totality to much and more. I've made my body into an extension of a tower, blended my soul and memories with those of another self. And each time I would ask myself, what is it that makes me, me? Oh, goosebumps this song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You okay? I'm all right. <laughs> No, but that doesn't mean I'm confused. It simply means I'm the same as everyone else. So I posit this. Who we were need not prescribe what we now hold in our hearts. Whatever came before, what matters most is the present. For me, that is being here with my friends. Full proud of how much we've grown together. So I urge you to not give up. Heed your heart's desire and hope that the future you long for shall be realized. I cannot. We cannot. We cannot understand desire nor comprehend hope. We do not know how to create such things. Mm. You can learn. Mm. We are not unlike you and I. I too have struggled to find the courage to express and embrace my wants. Mm. If you like, I will tell you a tale. A tale of a world on the brink. Of a people who never gave up on the future. Of a man who realized his grandest dreams and then awakened to a grander reality. Song and him dying. What's wrong with these people? Oh. What's wrong with these people? That was very well timed with the song. Oh my god. It's a crystal. Oh, oh my god. 
Nita. What? What is this song? You idiot! Just once, just once, stay with us to the end. Uh. What is this song? <laughs> Song. We it's got a, a new, new song. song. That's awesome. We got a new song. Ninjas are abound. Cutting onions somewhere oh in the house. Oh my gosh. They all leave so easily as if it's nothing. How do they think we feel? They just keep leaving us. The What's wrong time, with them? The next time we meet, I'll, I'll give them such a flick, and that'll be just a start. Is the same song. The crystalline path Graha has paved it for us. Difficult as it is, we must carry on for our friends and all who awaits us in faith. So come, let us seek the path's beginning. It appears to be near the outpost. You there? Yeah, you. Look at this video. Tap on this video. You better not be here by the time I look back. Look at this video. Look. Look at how awesome it is. So awesome. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. Oh my god, you are still here. What did I just say?